This is Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia with your market update for May 28th. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index rose for the fourth straight day, gaining 0.33 points, with the index now standing at 416.73. In this four-day winning streak, the index has risen 1.2%. The index traded in a very narrow range with light volume of 234,245 shares at a value of 195,000. The most active stock was Royal Group Phnom Penh Special Economic Zone, up 40 real per share to 2,270 real per share. Pestec Cambodia continues its bull run up 110 real per share to 2,400 real per share, with only 429 shares traded. On the downside, Sienekville Autonomous Port lost 120 real to 12,420 real per share. In corporate news, Grand Twins International released its first quarter results. Revenue increased in the first quarter 2024 by 0.6% to US dollar 15.9 million. This is compared to the first quarter 2023. Operating profits increased by 32% to US dollar 457,803. Profit before income tax increased 35.3% to US dollar 180,584. However, that profit was essentially wiped out by their tax bill of US dollar 180,584, which resulted in a profit after tax of only $1,696. The major component of the tax bill was an under provision of deferred tax in the prior year. CAM GSM issued a notification of guaranteed dividend for the first quarter of 2024. The dividend is attributable to the first quarter of this year in 2024. Shareholders of record on June 4th will receive a cash dividend of 39.725 real per share, which will be paid within 13th of June to 21st of June of this year. In business news, the General Department of Taxation collected taxes of $1.18 billion in the first quarter down 11.9% from the first quarter of 2023. The drop in taxes presents a challenge for the government, which relies on tax revenue for public services and infrastructure development. Despite the drop, the government has stated it will not create any new taxes, nor increase existing taxes. Minister of Commerce Cham Namol encouraged local companies to register their products at Cambodia Trade, as well as exploring the possibility of joining Alibaba.com to expand the market for Khmer products. Cambodia Trade is an e-commerce marketplace operated by the Ministry of Commerce to service Cambodia's small and medium enterprises so they can sell their products online to clients in the domestic and cross-border markets. The minister commented that through the online platform, Cambodia will be able to reap maximum advantage to expand exports, strengthen competitiveness, and diversify the national economy into international markets. I encourage businesses to take a look at CambodiaTrade.com as a distribution channel to increase their reach of customers. The Khmer real to US dollar remains weak at 4,085 real per US dollar despite a softer dollar. The US dollar index is down 0.17 at the Cambodia close of business to 104.43. Oil is trading at US dollar 83.10 cents a barrel, up slightly by 22 cents. Gold is up US dollar $10.90 to US dollar $2,345.40 an ounce. The Dow gained 4.33 points overnight to 39,069.59. Futures are pointing to a softer open, down 43 points. Apple is in the news, up 2.4% on a rebound in China's shipments. This has been Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia with your market update.